Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Soul Food Sundays. I hope that this message finds you all well and that you had an awesome week. And uh, before we get into this week's reading, of course, we are going to pray, but I am going to remind you all of a few things that I have going on um, this month. Uh, first being the fourth quarter focus reading. Uh, if you are interested in getting some clarity on how to go about navigating the last four months of this year, uh, be it specific to the goals that you set at the beginning of 2021, or if you are preparing to set some goals for 2022, uh, or just wanting to check in, uh, be it about love, your career, your spiritual journey, whatever the case, we can definitely get together and um, channel some messages that will help you to move forward. So that reading is available for $44.44. It is delivered every fourth day of the week, which is Wednesday via email. It is a written two card tarot and oracle reading i strongly advise that you guys take advantage of that opportunity because it is currently the cheapest reading that i offer at this time if you're interested in booking um you can book via my website at www.turquoisemajesty.com where you also can find a service list of the other um more in-depth readings that i offer also this month on september 25th your girl will be vending um at the eat to live uh the second annual eat to live vegan fest uh, which has been held at the paradise center in memphis tennessee from 12 to 5 and i will be debuting um the uh of affirmation accessories and adornments that I have curated um, as part of the um, new line that I'm launching in October um, because adornments are an extension of how we uh, present ourselves, how we celebrate ourselves, and it contributes to us um, being in a energy that improves intuitive wellness so if you are free come out check me out check out the other vendors if you are vegan or interested in a vegan lifestyle this would be a great opportunity for you to come and explore different um businesses chefs services that are in that niche market and can educate you or help enhance what you already know about uh, a vegan lifestyle because one thing I know for sure is someone who has dabbled in it, I've gone different periods where I have uh, stopped eating meat. I think the longest I've gone is like five to seven days, but I've definitely had my uh, periods where I've intentionally cut back on eating meat and can tell the difference. And if I could be really, really honest with you guys, veganism is the ultimate goal for me i would love to uh evolve to a place where chicken is not calling my name <laughs> but right now i do a really good job of uh pescatarian a more pescatarian diet and every now and then i will have some chicken and so it appears that i am weaning myself off of the uh land animals for sure so um i think that's it if anything else comes to mind i just throw it in there throughout the reading but we'll go ahead and get started so father god mother earth ancestors and spirit guys we come to you in this moment with a heart of gratitude thanking you for your love thanking you for your grace thanking you for allowing us to see another day dear god we ask that in this moment you provide the best messages for the highest good of all who are under the sound of my voice for the week ahead, dear God. What message do you have for us as a collective as we move forward into a new week? We thank you in advance for what comes forward. Amen. 
So this week we're going to pull from what's a fairly new deck for me. I've been working with it uh, personally. I haven't used it in any of my professional readings yet because I'm still kind of getting acquainted with and getting to know of the deck, but I love it so far. And so this, the deck we're gonna work with this month, this uh, week. And then if I need to clarify, I will pull from the Energy Oracle deck. No, I'm starting to think my voice is just changing, period. Because <laughs> every week, baby, I'm sounding rough. Not rough, but rough. It don't matter. I just thank God for a voice. As long as the message goes forward, honey. Really don't matter whether I'm sounding like Beyonce or David Ruffer. <laughs> Please, please provide the best message for the connected this week. What message do you have for us as a collective? What message do you have? Oh, oh, oh. All right. This looks like a lot. Let's see. We have events, the eight of events, a creative endeavor. Six of spirit, family, friends, and guides. The one of intention, hidden motives. Oh. For some reason, that card there just gives me pause. Because it, it makes me feel like somebody lying. Uh, the two of energy, planning, and action. And the card that has been coming out for me the most. So I ain't surprised at all. The eight of intention. Discovery. Y'all give me a second. I'm going to have to pause for the cops. Okay. Let's okay, loves, honey. I had to go handle some business. But I am back. And we are going to get into this message. So the first card that came out was uh, events, a creative endeavor. There is something that someone listening to this video, and I really feel like, like I've told you guys many times before, a lot of these messages to come out like they're personal readings for me that I'm just sharing with y'all, but... If you understand collective energy, then you know we are one. And a lot of times we are all going through the same thing. We ask for a collective energy. So here it is. There is some creative endeavor. Something that is inquiring the use of your creative energy. Be it in some type of art form, a business, or even a romantic relationship. As you can see here, the image in this card has a blank canvas, a violin. There is um, There are vines all over the place on the shore of a beach. Um, and there's a book, some books, and a camera. All of which are symbols of creative endeavors as well as there being this, this stuff being set up on the shore of a beach is telling us that uh, right where your emotion represented by water and that grounded space within you that involves the everyday things, the everyday in and outs, the uh, physical, your finances, your physical body, your home, um, things outside of the spiritual realm, but in this 3D existence, 3D being our everyday life, the world we are living in, uh, that we see with our eyes and touch things with our hands and that sort of thing. Right where they meet are the foundations for your creative endeavors. And when you have balance emotionally and, and spiritually as well as as well as um in your physical endeavors you are in a space where you feel more safe and secure 
and are able to tap into your more creative energy, your kundalini um, energy. And you're able to create those things that God has placed within you. You are able to water those seeds that have been planted within you in the form of your gifts and your talents. And so what I'm seeing with a creative endeavor, the six of spirit, family, friends, and gods, the one of intention, hidden motivations, as you can see here, that's because um, I'm I'm a I'm gonna give y'all the whole message instead of going through each card. Here with hidden motivations, there's a woman here standing. Uh, she's kind of uh, floating above a curtain, and beyond that curtain is two children having fun in a field. Um, there's also an animal, looks like a a deer, something with antlers. Um, planning an action here you have a map and a road and a clock and a pen a pencil and some kind of an estate at the end of the road and this guy who's discovering looks like he struck gold with the eight of intentions this is telling us that our creative endeavors are being protected and guided by our family friends and guides in the spirit world your ancestors are trying to speak to you trying to motivate you trying to push you and pull you into opportunities that will allow you to express yourself creatively because there are hidden motives there like i said when i see the hidden motivations card it makes me think oh shit somebody on some some deceptive energy you know what i'm saying there's a hidden motive there but hidden motives do not have to be negative someone can have positive hidden motives for you and the fact that we have family friends and guides in the spirit with an intention of hidden motives tells me that you're being led to do something to bring something to free to fruition to water some seed to paint be a photographer express yourself through music or whatever that creative expression expression for you may be because your ancestors have hidden motives they have some things in store for you that you don't need to know what it is right now you just need to follow your intuitive guidance the synchronicities and signs that are coming to you your dreams those nudges um and take advantage of those opportunities that are being presented to you because your ancestors are leading you into um, a time of playfulness, into something that's going to be fun and rewarding for you. This same estate in this car is, is pretty much the same estate that we see this property in the um, planning and action card. They're trying to lead you into some uh, safe and secure structure to where you don't have to worry about your wants or your needs or your shelter because your needs are going to be provided for as long as you are doing what it is that you are being led to do to contribute to the collective with your creative talents. And it's not going to be something that is symbolic of this um toxic masculine society that we're in where you just work 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 you work you go to bed you get up again you work you go to bed you get up again you got two days on the weekend or whenever your off days are to rest get everything you need done around the house and try to have some fun and tap in with your people and get up and do it again it's not that dynamic that's going to be playing out for you it's going to be walking in your purpose and having fun while you do it so many people value money, clothes, cars, watches, shoes, looks, um, applause, attention. And we are being shown that God has already given us before we even came down the birth canal, the blueprint. We are now on this journey so that we can tap into what that is. Some of us already know what that blueprint holds for us. We already know what our talents are and what our purpose is, but we don't want to be embarrassed 
We don't want to step out of our comfort zones or do that thing that sets us apart from other people because we don't want to be ridiculed. We don't want to stand uh, stand apart from the crowd. But there's this saying, and I'm trying to think of it as I'm t as I'm talking. Maybe if I shut up, it'll come to me. <laughs> I think it's something along the lines of you're being set up to 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 stand apart or you're being um i don't know but it's something about standing out we're being we're meant to stand out you're not meant to be like your friends yeah your energy will align with them in some way but you're not meant to be a carbon copy of the people who you are around you are meant to be a leader in your own right you are meant to be an individual and this message is confirming that there is a plan that is being set in motion that there are hidden motives there are things that like i've said before it's like that image of jesus trying to give the little girl a bigger bear he has the bear behind his back and the little girl is holding on to the small bear and she she cherishes this bear and she doesn't want to trust that god is going to give her something better she doesn't want to release that small bear and open her hand so that she has the capacity to receive the bigger bear that he has behind his back you don't need to know what it is that God has in store for you. Just be open to receiving whatever it is. If you trust, like you say you trust, that God has um, has your back, has the best intention for you, that God's hidden motives are positive and God is trying to, quote unquote, set you straight, you don't need to know what the plan is. You just need to follow the actions that you're being led to follow. And a lot of that is coming through your intuition. It's coming through the lessons that you're going through uh, in the now moment that you're currently experiencing. It's coming through the things that you're being convicted about and you're being nudged to let go of and be um, open to. Like you need to drop whatever baggage it is that you're holding on to and release whatever hurt, pain, whatever physical things that you have uh, that may be holding you back or weighing you down or be serving as clutter in your life. I know me personally, uh, I'm doing some fall cleaning as we are approaching uh, fall, getting rid of some stuff around the house and just making room for some new energy to flow into my life. Um, and so that is the type of thing that you need to be focused on at this time with the two of energy with planning and action. Um, you want to make sure that you are keeping your mind, body, and spirit clear so that you are able to tap into what the plan is. You're able to tap into what actions you need to take as the plan is unfolding for you because you're on a journey of discovering and you are about to strike gold. This man here has a, um, it looks like a, a plate. And I know that when people are mining or when they are looking for gold, sometimes they'll like go to some body of water or, or something with a, a, a plate to sift through um, what's in the water. And when they pull it out, they go through it to see what is of value. And that is the journey that we are being led on to sift through what's being presented to us, the fluff, the trash, be it through the media, what's going on in our lives, what our family has taught us, what our negative self-talk is, um, is leading us to believe, our experiences. We're sifting through those things to discover a better version of ourselves, a better perspective of our life purpose and the world that we live in. And I like to pull from the top and the bottom of the deck to see what other messages come through to support uh the message that are coming through the messages that are coming through at this time y'all we have got got to got to got to stop being scared to be our authentic self We've got to stop being scared to express ourselves and stop being scared to be intuitively led and stop relying on logic so much. 
A lot of times your int intuition will lead you to do and believe things that logically don't make no damn sense. But if you ride that thing out, it will begin to make all the sense in the world. You will look in hindsight. Like they said, hindsight is twenty twenty. You will see in hindsight why things played out the way they did. And even though they didn't make any logical sense at the time, they make perfect sense now. The top card is the three of intention behind a mask. Didn't I just say we have got to start being ourselves and stop hiding behind the mask of what society has told us we're supposed to do who we are supposed to be. We've got to stop be hiding behind the mask of toxic femininity and toxic masculinity. We've got to stop hiding behind the mask of poverty consciousness and feeling like we can't have all that God has in store for us, that we can't go beyond the level that our family has gone uh, up to this point. We are being called to break generational curses. We are being called to heal ancestral trauma. And it is going to require stepping out on some immense faith. And it's going to require taking that mask off. So many times we are amongst our peers or we are out in the world and we are just doing what it is that society has told us it's okay for us to do. We are sitting at the tables that we are told it's okay for us to sit at and we are doing it in a way that appeases those who are around us but does not necessarily sit right with us internally. Some of us don't get good sleep because we are not being our true authentic selves on a day-to-day -day in our waking lives. You know you tired of busting your ass at that job. You know you don't like those people. <laughs> but yet, you don't want to step out and do what it is that you know you really would enjoy doing while making money and contributing to the collective in some way. You know what gifts God has given you, what creative endeavors are waiting to be birthed through you. But you're hiding behind a mask because you don't want the world to see the, re the real you because you're afraid of the work that it's going to take in order to do that or the, you don't have the courage to step out on faith and do that or you don't want to receive some kind of um, ridicule or backlash or you just don't want to make the changes that it requires to live a, to have a better quality of life it's like some of us know that that's what lies on the other side of the gate for us we know that that's what's at the end of the path for us that's that big estate that gives us safety and security and comfort we know what it is but we are afraid to step out and do what it takes to get there to walk the path of least resistance to walk the path that god has has set for us and so we'd rather struggle and that's a sad truth but that is the reality for a lot of us but i am here to motivate and empower you to step out do that thing to clear your life from any clutter or distraction so that you're able to hear the messages that are coming forth for you. If you're like me and you have vivid dreams, take time out to write out your dreams, even if it doesn't make sense to you. Uh, there are various tools online. There are readers like myself that you can get with to better help you interpret what those dreams are telling you. Um, but there are messages coming through, be it through animals that cross your path. I was talking to somebody the other day. We were having a really long, in-depth conversation outside about a transformation that they're going through. And although the word transformation was not used, that individual pointed to a big-ass green caterpillar that was crawling near us. And I don't think I've ever seen one that big in real life like you see animated caterpillars like the alice in wonderland cartoon or whatever or in storybooks and things of that nature but i don't think i've ever seen a real caterpillar that was that damn big and caterpillars represent the transformation the beginning stages of the transformation that the butterfly goes through and i'm standing there thinking to myself 
as this person is talking to me, that they are in the beginning stages of a transformation that God is shaking their life up, that family, friends, and spirit guides are leading them into a transformative phase of their life where they're going to come out of that thing more their authentic self and not be behind, hiding behind a mask. That is the goal. We are on social media looking at how people are living and everything they do. It's goals, goals, goals. No. Being your authentic self, showing up as your, your authentic true self, following the steering of your heart, and standing in sovereignty. Doing what you know is right, even if you got to be the only one. That is taking the mask off. That is goals. So at the bottom of the deck, we have joy is fun. Here we got these babies. Hmm. That ain't nothing but abundance. We got these babies that are, are, are playing in this yard, representing the hidden motives that our family, friends, guides, and the spirit world have for us. And now they at a whole fair. They got an abundance of fun. You got this baby here. She got her some balloons and this this baby here and and they got they got uh bubbles you got uh, a gentleman standing over here with a big old grin on his face he's enjoying himself you got a, a plethora of rides and uh, um entertainment you got food and cotton candy and all that in the background god is trying to bless you with the seven of energy energetic abundance you're going to be using your create, creative endeavors not only to build security in your life, but also to have some fun. And your ancestors and spirit guides are trying to lead the way for you. I am not going to clarify this message because it is coming through like crystal clear. So I hope that this message resonates with someone. We are all creative beings. We all have that power and that ability, that capacity to tap into our creative gifts to lay, to be the foundation for our uprising, for our legacy, for breaking generational curses. God has so much more in store for you than you have in mind for yourself. And the only way to get to it is to follow your intuition get in that high priestess mode of meditating of studying of paying attention to the things that continue to show up for you in your life that show up for you continuously those themes those um those synchronicities that are coming for up for you because god is about to work a miracle and we just gotta ride this thing out so yeah if the message resonates with you Please leave a comment. Let me know what's going on with you. If you don't want to speak publicly, feel free to email me at turquoisemajesty at gmail.com. If this message resonates with you and you want to look further into it and get some more specifics about your specific journey, uh, book a reading with me at turquoisemajesty.com. Check me out on IG and Twitter. I am barely on Twitter, but I'm there. <laughs> Uh, but check out my other platforms. I hope to see you guys at the um, Eat to Live event. Take advantage of the fourth quarter focus reading. And with all that being said, peace.